Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. Uh, we're making pizza. Yeah, we are. And, and <laughs> part of this is because uh, if you've been sort of driving around different neighborhoods and looking at houses that are being built right now, a huge trend is the idea of having an urban oven in your backyard, uh, something wood burning. And Anthony Watton has taken that to a whole new level with urban ovens. How are you, man? Nice to see you. Nice Good. to see Thanks you, too. For coming in. Yeah, you Thanks uh, for coming. Tell us about the concept of urban ovens, first of all, and, and what you guys actually do. Basically, what we're trying to do is bring the old style of cooking back to the people, and uh, just by building ovens in people's homes and uh, giving them that opportunity. Well, let's look at some pictures, because it's hard to imagine what we're talking about when we say urban oven. Tell us about this one, first of all. This one's uh, actually a mobile unit. It's on. Um, it's on caster wheels and can just be wheeled around <laughs> your uh, your deck or patio. You're kidding me! Wow. Yeah, so it's it's quite it's a lightweight for this sort of thing. Yeah, but uh, it still looks heavy though. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> well, but it's Very perfect. I mean, if you, if you know you don't have the the yard space or anything yeah. else exactly. for it, but you've got some deck space. Yeah, uh, exactly. that's just right. And and that idea of of wood burning as well for people in the city. I, I think there's a fascination with that, right? Like uh, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to burn wood other than in their, um, in their fireplace. Yeah. You know, if, if you can burn wood to actually get something out of it, yeah. you know, Why rather than heat, you know. Yeah. Like, How much do you have to sort of learn? I mean, and that's part of what you guys do that I think is brilliant. There's not only do you build it, but you actually teach people a little bit about this cooking method and, and how to actually maximize it and use it. We do. With uh, with every oven, we try to do a tuition and uh, have a dinner party for 10 people. Really? <laughs> so it just, it just helps you sort of smooth yeah, the transition. Just, it's just a beautiful thing, like artwork yeah, to have in your backyard. So if you're not using it, it's not one of those things that's an eyesore sometimes like a barbecue can be. It's actually something nice to look at. Yeah, we, we try to make everyone very uniquely different. So yeah. um, the ones, the last one you saw there is that everybody loves that one. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah. Well, and customized to a house and the style of house and the style of building that you have anyway. And exactly. we're making pizza yeah. today, which is yeah. an obvious when it comes to this kind of oven. But I'm fascinated by some of the other things that you can make in here. What are the other things aside from pizza that you make? Sure. We, uh, we can slow roast meats. We do pork belly. Uh, <laughs> I put a whole fish in there. Really? Yeah. And just you smoke it, you know, at first and then just let it slow cook. Um, and how does the slow cooking process change the flavor of, of something to have that opportunity uh, to do that? Yeah, the smoke really gets into, you know, every molecule and just and you can just taste it. It's it's amazing. And what about ribs? Oh, oh my god. What about ribs? <laughs> Don't even <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about ribs? I'm, I'm guessing Andrew, or, uh, first for you was the love of the cooking and then uh, sort of moved it into the the actual building. Exactly. What happened to me was uh, I was working with these and and I put a piece of squash we call it pumpkin back home. Yeah. In the, in the oven, which is a bit of olive oil, and I tasted it and I was like, Damn dog. What? You know this? Anthony's in love. Yeah, Damn. exactly. Okay, yeah. Wait, let, where do we start with our little pizza? Okay. Well, you'll be making the uh, tomato bocconcini or. I love that combo. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, <laughs> I'm the surf and turf, here. baby. Yeah, we've got the spot prawns, which are in season. So. Now, Anthony, if people have been around to festivals and, and some of the outdoor events going around in uh, not just Vancouver, but in, uh, in BC as well, you guys actually have a mobile uh, that you sort of take with you. Exactly, yeah, urban, mo urban mobile. It, um, we're, we're at various markets around. Uh, Lower Mainland and uh, up there in Squamish. Are. There we are. There, it's right there. And yeah. you said people just like sort of stand there and stare into the flames too. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like theater, I right? Think like people smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, no, but there's something fact you don't get in an urban environment very often, where you get to you know just sort of hang out. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, a lot of kids just come up to us and go. What, yeah. What's that? You know, they've never even really seen a fire. You right. Know? Well, like young kids that I uh, never experienced it. Well, and you forget too, like, I mean, uh, you know, obviously the cooking's a, a huge reason to have it, but, you know, if you're putting something in your backyard and you're having company and you're in season, you don't have to cook on it. You can just light a fire in there and just have that yeah. you know, warmth the and the glow. glow and well, the big thing is that uh, a place like Vancouver, you can extend your deck time. Yeah. Right. Uh, which is, oh, that looks very neat. Isn't it nice? Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, you just jammed it I in there for I was actually quite proud of my little pizza. But, yeah, look at that. And we're going to finish. Abby <laughs> didn't sound totally convinced. It's like, well. Did I put too much stuff Look on what it? you've Be done. Honest. No, 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 that's perfect. Uh, but we're going to put some of this on. Okay, so <laughs> if we had our uh, lovely oven here, how long does one cook a pizza for? This one could probably finished in about two and a half minutes. 
And oh, Mike, wow. you, you trash yeah. talked. Me. Like you trash talked, know. but I think that looks like that does delicious. look beautiful now. That it was good. just missing the green a little bit. And uh, talk about this as well, because dessert. Uh, okay. Thing you can do. Oh, can I just yeah, yeah. dust over there? Yeah, yeah. Dust on over. Um, yeah. Okay. Here, we'll do the assembly this line. This one. So fruit just, is is great in these fruit. ovens. Yeah, yeah. Well, peaches are just about to come in season. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought I'd do a stew a roast peach with rosemary. And it's got a little bit of brown sugar on there just to give it a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. And then we've got a mascarpone. I like the idea of the rosemary with, uh, with the fruit as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, herbs, herbs are great. You can play around with them. Mm -hmm. it's, this, is, this, this one goes really well. Uh, was I that just, the Urban Rush oven, Fiona? I just took these out of the Urban Rush <laughs> oven. Yes. They're pipe, piping hot. Just a couple minutes and beautiful pizzas, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. This so is not then, good. Because <laughs> they're. They're, they're one giant pizza. Uh, how does the process work? I mean, if people are thinking about doing this in their house, do you guys come and do a consultation and, and sort of have a look at the space and, exactly. and give some options? Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, come to your place, see what you've got, see what you want, see what you're planning in the future, and, and then we'll just design it to that. Because you don't have to, uh, like, there's nothing special in terms of city permits and stuff, are there? Or do no, you have to have a... Well, different municipalities have uh, different laws, and different times of the year, they're more strict than others. But right. other, uh, on the whole, they're, they're really good. You just nice. give her, this looks dangerous and fun. What the hell is yeah, this? Yeah, this is <laughs> pizza saber. <laughs> pizza yeah, I'm going to let you saber. do it. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> That okay, is, uh, so if you uh, want to find out more about the beautiful urban ovens, go to their website. Uh, yeah, if you're looking gorgeous. for something interesting to do in your backyard, uh, you should get one. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much. No, 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 thank you. Appreciate we'll take it. Break. We'll be back with Mocha only right after this. Don't go away. That was fantastic. Yeah, thank great. you. Thanks.